A friend of mine gave me this a long time ago and the battery was dead. Something else uh, may have been wrong with it. But what I always liked about it was it had this crank and supposedly you could crank it like this and it would recharge the battery inside. Um, and also, I guess if you are desperate, you could click this and crank it and you can see the lights lighting up. So yeah, uh, I like the idea of having a portable generator. And so the other day I was online and I found this thing, which is also a hand crank generator. And supposedly it will charge a mobile phone. So I thought, uh, okay, it wasn't very much. It was a few dollars. I thought I'd get one and uh, put it through its paces and see what it'll do. Okay, well, let's do a close up and uh, kind of uh, give it a, a thorough workout. This is the generator and you can see the crank on this side. We'll open it up like that. So that's one side of it. And on this side is a standard USB port and an LED. This side, not really much of anything. Uh, just the handle of the crank, nothing much. And a couple of screw holes, it looks like. Um, yeah, so when you crank this, the light lights up. It makes a kind of a screeching sound and it produces some electricity from the USB port. Um, yeah, it also, the gears feel kind of whatever, not, uh, not smooth, let's put it that way. Uh, and it only produces one direction like that. So let's, uh, let's try hooking this to an old cell phone I have, which is probably got the lowest charge requirements of all the cell phones I have. This is a real antique. Um, and see what it will do as far as charging it. First, let's get a baseline of what it takes to charge this phone. And we'll use the AC outlet and this little device right here. Um, and it looks like about half an amp and about 5.23 volts. Okay, so that's what we uh, would have to get from our generator in order to uh, start charging this phone. So let's uh, hook up the generator and see what happens. Here we have a similar setup. The phone is here, obviously. Here is our meter. And instead of the hooking it to the uh, wall wart and the mains power, we have it hooked to our generator USB slot. And now we shall crank this and see if we can reach our five and a half volts and a half an amp. Oh, yeah. The gears sound like they're ripping themselves apart. Gears are skipping. Phone is starting to charge barely. It's trying, it's trying. Uh, yeah, uh, this thing is getting harder and harder to crank. My guess is that the plastic inside is rubbing on plastic and it's probably either melting the plastic or turning it into dust. Um, yeah, I never reached the uh, half an amp it would take to charge. I did trigger the, the uh, charging circuit in the phone, so I reached the five and a half uh, volts, but not the half an amp. Yeah, um, so there is no way on earth that I could charge my uh, Samsung uh, S21 <laughs> because uh, if this won't charge, no way is it gonna charge a bigger phone. Okay, so let's, uh, let's delve into this a little more. This has two screws we need to remove. One's over here, one's over here. I have not opened this yet for fear that when I did, it would never go back together again. Um, one screw, yeah, 
just see on the back of my hand, huh? Okay, there we go. Whoa. Whoa. Uh-oh. <laughs> it seems like one of those things that if you just move it a little bit wrong, it can all fall apart. Um, yeah, clearly the top cover. The top cover has these notches which are holding down the gears. The gears are, well, they're lubricated, but boy, I don't know why they're screeching like they are. Um, it's got a simple circuit board right there, which uh, it looks like just basically diodes uh, to rectify the to rectify the uh, AC that this is producing into DC. Because I don't see anything. It looks like a voltage regulator. Um, yeah, and then the, the diode right there, and this is about as delicate as anything you'd want to see. I'm afraid I'm going to break one of these wires any moment. Um, yeah, that's the correct position. And wow, yeah, I, uh, Maybe I'll try throwing some extra lube on there, but I don't see any great way of salvaging this. I mean, the, the pins are just, you know, rotating against this plastic and against this plastic and the gears are not nylon. They're just like a hard, styrene type plastic so yeah i don't think there's anything we can do to to salvage this let me uh let me go get some grease i'll put it on here and see if we can uh do anything about it this is some molybdenum grease and it's about as good as i can get Well, it sounds considerably better. Well, I uh, skip it here, yeah. Ah, well, it doesn't squeal so much, but it's uh, skipping uh, gear teeth and I still can't maintain the speed it would take to even come close to to uh, charging a cell phone, let alone anything any bigger than that. Well, that's it. It's, uh, you can save yourself the two or three bucks these things cost and uh, find something better. Okay, well, that was it for this little experiment in, in uh, cheap hand crank generators. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home experimentation.